Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing another Chanel unboxing and yes, it's another one. I know, right? So if you wanted to see what I got, please keep on watching. If you see a little black movement right here and it is my little puppy, Coco. She won't leave me alone, so she's gonna be joining me for the rest of this video. So you guys, I got another Chanel piece. This is not a surprise if you have watched my Chanel unboxings as of late and also my videos. I've talked about this item and if you have any guesses to what it is, please leave them in the comment section down below. So this piece comes in just the black magnetic box with the ribbon that I already started to untie. So this is what it looks like inside and it just says Chanel. And this bag comes in this beautiful drawstring bag right here. And then inside of the box comes the care booklet and whatnot. And I picked this up from Saks Fifth Avenue here in Somerset Mall. So this item is my very beloved Cabri Help backpack, you guys. I can't believe I have this baby in my collection. Oh my gosh. I actually have not opened the box. I haven't seen this since at the store. So I picked this one up two days ago. The story behind this bag is my essay called me and she told me that all the Gabrielle bags are gonna be going up in price effective yesterday, actually, because I got this one two days ago. This bag retails for 3,000 here in the States and it was gonna go up another 400 to $600. And I said, okay, I've actually been wanting this bag and it was on my wish list for a while. So might as well get it now while the price is still a little bit lower because it's insane to even be paying $3,000 for a bag, yet alone another four to $600 on top of that. So this bag is the Gabrielle backpack and it features the silver and gold chain. So it is the dual um, tone, two tone bag with the ruthenium cc right here this is an all black and this comes in the smallest size and this is the aged calfskin leather so for this bag i actually had to return my gucci dionysus bag the one that i unboxed because honestly ever since i unboxed it you guys i have yet to use it so it was just sitting in my closet in its dust bag for three weeks and I think it's pretty ridiculous for something so expensive to just sit there in your closet and I'm the type of person that if I don't use it right away and I've shared this with you guys that I have to take my bags to church with me so that I could use them and I know that the opportunity didn't come yet for me to use my Dionysus but honestly I had no desire to like use it I don't know what it was about that bag like I still think it's beautiful I still want it somewhat but i don't know like i think it's one of those things that i'm just gonna admire from far away and maybe it'll be okay if it's not in my collection so I, but i've never used it so i don't know how well it would have fit in my lifestyle but nonetheless i used the money that i um originally paid for to fund this bag and i just added another 700 800 dollars so i could get this baby right here so that is it for my newest Chanel addition to my collection and it is so amazingly gorgeous. So I have the SKU numbers here and um, this one is the authenticity card and that's just the numbers. I have SKU right here and I wanted to correct myself. I was told by my essay that it was going to go up $400 to $600 but um, the new price is actually here in the back. So. The new price is going to be $3,300 instead of the $3,000 that it is. And I still think that $300 is a lot of money. Forgive my nose being red, you guys. I keep rubbing it because I keep getting like an itch right here on the side. I don't know what it is. But that is it for this. I wanted to address your guys' questions on my comment section. In my previous videos, forgive my two dogs because they won't leave me alone, you guys. If I leave them out of the room, they will scratch the F out of the door and I don't want that. I can't handle that in the background of my videos. 
But anyways, most of you guys ask me what I do for a living. So I am a full-time home health care nurse. Um, that means that I go visit my patients at their home and I do skilled visits with them. Um, also, what other questions did I get? How do I store my handbags? I actually have a cubicle that I got from Home Depot that I've um, had someone install for me. Um, the other cubicles were installed by my husband and I have them just upright. I'm gonna be doing a separate video on how I store my bags. The question that came up is, what, how do I decide which handbag to use for the day or whenever I use a handbag or switch it out? Honestly, it depends on my mood that day, the occasion of where I'm going or the place. The weather also plays a big factor on what whichever bag I use and also um, the style that I'm going for. So those are the factors that um, I consider when I'm choosing my handbag. Also, shout out to my dear friend Lily LV here on YouTube. She tagged me to do a tag video of things I love about myself or something to that nature. I watched her video and if you are not subscribed to her, I will leave her in the uh, description box below. Hey girl, thank you so much for tagging me. I will be doing that video very, very soon. I've mentioned in my entire handbag collection, I don't know which one, if I was selling bags, I think it was my Louis Vuitton one. If I was to sell bags or consider selling them, where do I sell them and why would I sell them? So the reasons why I consider selling my pieces is because if I don't use them a certain amount, like if I just see them sitting there in my closet and if I want to fund something or if I find another thing that I would like, I would try to fund it by selling some of the pieces that I'm not really reaching for anymore and that's mostly like my speedies because I have three speedies I have three neverfulls but now I'm only down to one neverfull and two speedies which is great and I sell them to my coworkers. so I work at an office as well because for home health care it's not always me visiting patients so I have to stay at the office and do my paperwork and whatnot and also tend to office things and I sell them to my coworkers and some of my friends. And yeah, that's the, the platform that I use to sell my bags. Also, I would love to sell them to eBay or like Fashion File. I've sold, I think a couple of things to Fashion File, but if I could get the money right there and then from my coworkers or my friends, why not? And if I could get it for a better price. So that is it for all the questions and also for my Chanel unboxing. If you have any more questions for me, please leave them in the comment section down below. I love talking to you guys. I love seeing your comments and our interactions down below. And also, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and for the growing channel. It warms my heart and it really, really brings a smile to my face. So thank you guys so much. I can't thank you enough. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribed if you haven't already. And I shall see you on my next one. Namaste.